What's up guys, this is Burge. Got a video here for you about uh, medical kits. And uh, what I take with me when I go into the wilderness. Now I got two different types. I got the, uh, the backpack type. Uh, kind of like, if I'm going out just for, uh, uh, you know, half a day. I'm not overnighting it. That's what this is for. Uh, if I'm overnighting it or we're going camping or uh, something like that, uh, I'm going to take this uh, medical uh, kit that I have. This is kind of like the big boy. Um, I usually always used to carry this one, um, but um, it's just there's too much in here. Um, uh, there's a lot of stuff in here that's not in here, obviously. But uh, so let's get to, uh, I'll call this the day kit. Uh, if I'm just going for a day. And there's some stuff in here that, uh, uh, I mean, there's some stuff not in here that I'd like to put in here that I don't have in here yet. That's in here. But uh, anyway, so let's get down to it. What do I got in my medical kit if I'm just going out for the day? Well, I have a lot of uh, stuff, and I am not a medical expert whatsoever. <laughs> this is not my. Uh, not my expertise. I know, you know, the basics and such, but uh, I'm not not an expert. So uh, this is just my stuff. I'm not telling you what to go buy. So uh, what do I got in here? Well, I've had I had surgery before, um, and I found that these are uh, really good blood stoppers. Um, these surgery pads. So you know, for a day hike taking about three of these 5x9 uh, surgery pads uh, as my main blood stoppers. I think I'm putting more in there, but uh, for a day hike, if you uh, need more than these, you're probably going to be hiking it back out. <laughs> um, and I got some gauze, uh, sponges, um, these are just 4x4. Uh, four Here's some uh, gauze pads. These are the three by threes. Um, here's some more gauze pads, the four by fours. Um, here's some gauze sponge. This is a bigger one. This is a uh, oh, this is a four by four too. This is a different company, I guess. Now I have some non-stick pad. Um, I have a non-stick pad here. Um, this is basically to put over top um, uh, after you clean up the wound, and uh, here's an adhesive uh, pad. Same same thing. Uh, now this stuff I used when I had my surgery. <clears throat> now one of the the better things to do um, that I was told is to keep your uh, your wound if it's a uh, a cut. Uh, you don't want to have it too dry. This is like a petroleum um, impregnated mesh uh, stuff. Uh, I got this at like uh, Rite Aid. Um, this is five by nine. You can cut it to size, and it's just it's yellow, and it's kind of it feels good on your wound. You just put this on, and then you put the the pad uh, like your your gauze over top, and then you uh, wrap it with some uh, some tape or something. Um, yeah, here's some uh, stick to itself tape, uh, just to uh, you know bandage up something um, until you get back to uh, to camp. So this is called zero form. I forgot to say this is called zero form. Um, here's some big band aids. These are the bigger variety band aids. Um, I got some gloves. You know, in case you got to work on someone, you don't want to <clears throat> you don't want to spread uh, blood everywhere. Now here's some stair strips. These are some, uh, uh, in case you have a nice cut, that <laughs> you uh, make sure it stays together until you get back uh, to, uh, to get stitched up. Uh, I don't carry a uh, suture kit. I know I probably should, even though I don't know what I'm doing. Um, but uh, I don't. I carry these stair strips. I got some uh, Q-tips in a little bag here. I got the, uh, the basic band-aids because when you're with kids, you know, they always have a, a thing or two that, 
you know, comes up where they get a neck or a cut and they want to cry and act like a big baby. So you gotta, you know, show always cover up wounds. Now here's some of the uh, stuff I carry that's, I guess, medical. Uh, number one, this is not mouthwash. This is uh, peroxide. I don't know if that's spelled right, but whatever. Um, I actually, uh, I got this at the doctor. Um, and I just washed it out so I could have a little peroxide in a little container. Um, so yeah, I just refilled that and uh, sets my peroxide to, uh, you know, clean out wounds, flush wounds, whatever. Uh, triple antibiotic ointment, uh, always good to uh, put on some, uh, some cuts. Here's some uh, excellent, excellent eye drops. Um, I actually got this when I went to the eye doctor for, uh, for an issue and uh, I only had to use one drop and uh, it was that good that I figured throw it in the kit because that's ridiculous it's awesome stuff's really uh, really good and here's some uh, itch cream this is the uh, hydrocortisone uh, anti-itch cream by Aveeno now there is some stuff on here in here that uh, that's not in here um, that is in uh, my other bag that I'd like to get in this bag if you saw my one video where I was out camping, or hiking, my first uh, woods video I put out, you can see that I had this uh, this roll. So I actually just made this within the last like uh, two weeks because I've always carried the big huge bag because I'm one of those people that's like, I want to make sure I have everything I need. And the one thing I don't want to minimize is medical. So. I'll just go through this. I'm not going to go through it. I'll just show you real quick. Like, Hey, look, there's some mud. Um, <clears throat> you know, as you can see, there's just a ton more. Um, I should have some alcohol prep stuff in my uh, bag. So this is kind of something I'm going through. Um, I just have a ton more stuff in here, and I'd love to take this with me everywhere because... Pretty much anything I need to uh, to do in regards to taking care of something that happens out in the, uh, the wilderness, you know, is in here. But um, you know, for a day hike, this just is too much. It's too heavy, honestly. Um, anyway, so yeah, some of the stuff is gonna go in there. I want to put some uh, Benadryl. You always should have Benadryl because you know, even if you're uh, uh, you know, bee stings, you, know, you always want to Benadryl and ibuprofen. Um, Tylenol, some people can be goofy with, so I always carry ibuprofen, uh, Advil, whatever. Um, I carry Tylenol, but that's only if the person doesn't have a problem with it. Um, but yeah, I should, what I want to put into the little one is some alcohol prep um, wipes, um, some bee sting um, stuff for like kids. Um, just to wipe it on to make it feel better. Some ibuprofen, Benadryl, um, anti-diarrhea, and what else is there? Something else I want to put in the kit. Um, I want to put some more um, uh, blood stoppers in there. Um, but a lot of the stuff um, that some people have in their kits, I already have. Like I already take with. So, like, you see people carry, <laughs> like, flashlights in here, but I already carry a flashlight, so I'm not carrying two. So, I mean, there's just some redundancy that I don't put in my medical kit. This is just purely medical stuff. Um, and maybe I'm short-minded there, but that's just how I'm going to do it. Um, so, if you guys uh, have any, you know, suggestions or whatever, like I said, I'm not a medical expert whatsoever this is just what I take out in the woods with me in case something uh, happens um, let me know if you guys uh, put something else in here and uh, we can have a nice little discussion but uh, like I said for a nice little you know going on the woods for a day this is a good option to have definitely stuff that stops blood um, is a must um, and because uh, uh, blood loss is Man, it's not a good thing. Anyway, so uh, if you guys have any questions about what I got uh, or where I got it, whatever, let me know. 
uh, but uh, till next time, later.